Hello and welcome to some Sea Open at Dover. We are here today on Wednesday. Earlier on we did the 87 Legends in Gavin's time slot and uh, had some unlucky sevens affect our run. And uh, I'm hoping that today, or you know, it's still the same today, but <laughs> this race We'll have a little bit better luck. There's a name or two I'm a little concerned about on the grid, but hopefully not too bad. Let's see how we can do in qualifying here. Oh, I forgot to change the tape. Oh well. I was gonna put the tape up to like 100%, but I totally forgot to do that. Not a huge deal. Leaders up in the fours, <laughs> so we're four tenths off. I'd like to be a little bit closer than that, but hey, that's pretty good. I think the track might be a little bit faster than what I practiced in. I'll take that. That's fine. I'm gonna turn my volume down a tiny bit. So I'm sure we're gonna drop plenty. I don't know how guys are getting like 22.4s and stuff. Even with the tape on, I wasn't able to get that low. So we just got ourselves our OSR set up. It's actually an up-to-date setup this time at least, unlike the uh, Xfinity race. So we got that going for us. And uh, I did practice some green flag pit stopping. It's, of course, very difficult here at Dover, and I've had trouble in the past, so... That's looking pretty good, though. I'm happy with that. As long as I can do something similar to that, I should be just fine. 68 tape. I uh, got a little bit more aggressive with it. If the temperature starts going up a bit, that's just fine. I'll, do, I'll just back it down a little. Uh, probably save some more tire in the process anyway. I did some practice with it and I'm feeling okay. So, we'll see if I'm wrong. <laughs> I also moved the brake bias back just a tiny bit. Nothing too crazy. We are down to sixth. And i uh, got quite a few people still going, I think. This guy's having connection issues. It looks like he dropped out once already, came back, and then now it's still in the 2000 range of ping. His quality is 112 though, so he's got better than perfect internet, according to that. Something weird's going on <laughs> with that. 6x in qualifying. All right, maybe watch out for this guy. He's having some issues. Maybe just pushing a little bit too hard. 4.2 A license, you'd think you'd be okay. Probably just pushing too hard, getting loose on exit a couple times, trying to get the best lap he can. But just about 30 seconds left before we get started. I'll take that result sixth. I didn't think I was going to be too quick anyway. I never really have a qualifying setup at any point, and I know that can make a pretty big difference. Um, I'll, you know, change the tape maybe every other time, and I forgot to do it this time, so. P7, alright. This is one guy I'm a little concerned about. I normally don't like Paul pointing him out, but he's on my outside right here, so he's going to be very relevant. I'm just going to have to give him extra space. And, you know, he, maybe he'll have a perfectly fine run. Maybe he'll be perfectly clean. It's just I, I've raced a lot of the guys before, and I've seen that guy crash before, so... <laughs> just going to keep in mind my surroundings. I wish him good luck, though. Either way, clean slate. 
for everybody on the start of this one. So wish them the best. I'm going to try uh, to save some tire. Hopefully guys behind don't run me over while I'm doing so. That's a little bit concerning. C2.6. That's the guy right behind me. <laughs> I might have some dangerous drivers around me. Hope I'm wrong. Well, those guys must be on the same team, whatever moonlight means. Are those the leaders? No, that's uh, second row. No idea who they are. But they must be on a team. So if uh, one of them gets to start on the restart, expect them maybe to be in a Discord call together or something and uh, be able to communicate whenever it's time to hit the gas. One of the benefits of having teammates. We're the number two car in here, a 2.6 strength of field race. Not too bad, could be better. Pretty average, based on what I normally get. Not sure what the uh, one, the one truck, what his I rating's at, but it's above 5.1. There are Whatever three it is. additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. Not sure. I, I wonder if this is single split. I didn't really think about it. The track temp is 80. Didn't really pay attention to how many people are signed up. I thought it was more than 20 something, but I wasn't really looking too close. Actually, you know what? I think I remember it was like in the 40s, maybe. So I think it probably did split. So that's good. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the inside. Closed. Pit road is closed. It's like a first gear start, probably. I'm going to put the dash up. The temperatures could be relevant this race, because, like I said, I did go pretty aggressive. Ooh, looks like some tire spin as well, potentially, so I'm going to have to ease onto this gas pedal. Very interesting. It's good to know. So I always like to test, see what the truck's gonna feel like when I get, uh, you know, put pedal to the metal, as they say. I'm getting going pretty quick. Let's not spin them up and let's watch for uh, anybody else that might be choosing to do so. Good start. I'm happy with that. Outside. Clear. Easy does it. So we've already gained a spot technically. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Give this guy a second to gather it up. Looks like he might have a Twitch channel or something. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and go to his inside. Grab low five. Stay low. Put the car on the high side. Thank you, buddy. Outside is clear. I was going to say, too, you can have them. I'm just going to hang out and get to the finish line. Car inside. You're in fifth. Clear inside. Started thinking about him talking to me. I touched the wall because I was looking at see if it was him talking to me. I'm really not trying to go too hard right now. I'm trying to get on the right rear. Ooh, this force kind of blocking me up right now. Not literally blocking, but you know, just uh, 
in my path. Maybe for the best, maybe I uh, need to be calming it down a little bit. I don't know. Car feels like it's getting plenty of good rotation on throttle. But it looked like it scared him up a little bit. Stay low. Clear high. All right, get around him. Maybe being too aggressive, I don't know. But I just I feel like I'm on the right rear plenty enough that it shouldn't be an issue. I feel like I should be able to wear the tires pretty evenly. Maybe not be a problem. Sure, we'll find out eventually. But I'm having some fun. Love this track. Kind of talked about it a little bit in the Xfinity race, but I actually quite enjoy it here. And we're green so far. That's cool. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting the uh, as much rotation as I can from getting back on the throttle late in the corner and lifting off on entry. That extra little bit of tape I added, I'm, I'm hoping helps out with that. <laughs> of course, right, when I say that, the chief wants to tell me about the temps. Like I said, they could get a little bit scary for a minute. They're probably going to get up there, but I'm thinking I should be able to uh, keep on top of it. If it gets a little higher, I can back off a bit, and uh, once we get later in the run and the pace starts slowing down a little, I think it'll uh, go back to safer numbers. So I'm kind of just going with a little bit of an edgier setup in terms of the tape, and uh, I'm hoping it'll pay off. Right now, so far so good. We've gone from 7th to 4th, and the truck's feeling just fine. As we finish 12 laps right now. About a quarter of the way through our first run. Assuming I will pit right around lap 50. Nine point eight gallons. So this isn't one where you'd be able to save and make to the end or anything like that. Much too uh, much fuel needed. That'll bring us about fifty-three more laps or so, according to the iRacing calculator. Be reeling in the six a little bit. I really hope we get green flag pit stops. Uh, now that I think about it though, ooh, just felt tight for the first time. All right, good to know. Stay on top of it. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, with the pit road being so difficult here, I think I might go a little bit longer just because if someone does try to pit on lap 50 and, you know, smacks those barrels, as people tend to do here, then uh, when the caution comes out, I don't be, uh, I don't get put in a bad spot. So it might be good to just go to lap, uh, like, 52 or something. I'm my for the shit on them. What do you say? I heard a cuss word, and it sounded like he was angry, but I didn't hear what he said. Oh well. Fifteen might be catching us. Your lap time was twenty-three point eight. Having to back up the corners just a tiny bit more. Nothing too difficult now. Just adjusting as we get later in the run. 
far from unmanageable, thankfully. Wrecks can happen very easily here, though, so... I wouldn't be too surprised if we don't get ourselves a green flag run all the way to pit stops. I mean, it's just as, as the car gets tighter, or the truck, rather, in this case, you could easily have guys fly up into the wall and bounce off and start crashing all over the place. It's really easy for guys to smack that inside wall, bounce back up on the track, and that yellow will come out. Just gotta be uh, watching out for that. It's not a place like uh, Darlington where even if there's guys spinning there, they're usually off the track and Yale doesn't come out here. It seems like they uh, are often on the track. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's going right now. Um, we are feeling the tire wear a bit now, but we have two and a half seconds back to the 17, for example. This guy seems to be doing better than us, so I will let him go once he gets in the right position for it. I won't fight him. Looks like he's doing a better job, probably saved more while I was content to uh, make some progress. Gonna make him uh, set it up though. And in the meantime, run my line. Yeah, engine temperatures are looking better now. I almost feel like I could push it even more. Do I want to try that? I guess I could adjust it for the next stop. Just one more percent, just for funsies. <laughs> anyway, well, holy cow, he's trying to wreck me. There I go. What a moron. Yeah, that's why I was afraid of that guy. Nice. stupid. <sighs> Exactly how is that my fault? Oh, I know. I've never been lucky enough to deal with him myself, but I've seen him with plenty of people. Until now, I guess. I was the one with him yesterday who was the leader off of turn one taking a green wreck field. Wreck the front search. Well, how it's not a caution. Yep, there he goes. At least he got it worse yeah, than I me. Don't either. Yeah, he's a moron. I tried to be nice but at the start, knowing what kind of there. racer he is. But he just cleared himself on exit over my nose. I'm just glad I didn't get caught up in it. And it sounds like yeah, he had more issues. I'm, I'm pissed off anyway. Hopefully our damage isn't too bad. I'm four laps down because my internet took a shit on me running for a race and wouldn't let me qualify, wouldn't let me make the start, nothing. Oh yeah, that's the guy that had issues. Yeah, that's a bumper there. I was gonna get make that easy on that guy. I was never even gonna fight him that hard, but he dove it in and that kind of perturbed me. <laughs> so I'm like, alright, you made me run the high line, I guess I'll continue uh, with my line here and then he just got tight off exit and didn't lift and turned himself in my nose. That's exactly what happened. Uh, we are down on power, it would seem. Or if, uh, not down on power, probably, but probably just to have that parachute on the right front. Not gonna cross him over, he's clearly faster. So thank you to him for the new parachute. I'll be sure to use that if I jump out of any airplanes. Fortunately, I'm using it while driving a race car right now. That's not really when you want to use it unless you're doing some drag racing. Preferably when you're doing that, it's, you know, 
after you're done doing the fast part. But, oh well. Hopefully we can still uh, salvage. I told you, man, as soon as I saw him, I'm like, normally I don't even like calling people out, but that guy is a weapon every time. Unfortunately, he aimed at us today. We are off pace. Got the five catching us. anymore, man. I don't know what uh, the rest of this is going to look like, but we are certainly not uh, doing as well as we were. Unfortunately, I kind of have to hope it doesn't go green now, because I won't have time to fix any damage if it does go green. So I had the unlucky 7 earlier today, I guess we got the unlucky 13 in this race. Dealing with some unlucky numbers here today. Somebody wanna go with a caution? It's lovely. Oh, we almost have one there, this dude doesn't know how to use the brake. Or like, maybe 4. It's gotta go high. I'm well off pace, enough that it's pretty dangerous for me to even try here. Clear inside. Okay, Colton. Pit window is now open. Hmm. Yeah, we need a move on the motor. What do we do now? We have strategy. Do we do anything? Either you can drive around me clean or you can run out of race. I'm not gonna do move anything out of the different. I don't think the plan me, changes right. at all. Yeah, but you you blocking, you blocking my line. I think we still come in lap 52-ish. I didn't know I was supposed to move out of the way for you, my bad. You're acting like they want to wreck back I mean, do you think any real professional driver would ever just move out of the way because someone's behind them? I mean, in certain circumstances, yes, like I just did for the five. Goodbye, number 13. Consider just not showing up next time. Save you some time in between. I'll stay high. That was a twenty-four point eight. I think we're kind of holding our own with about two seconds behind us. Don't think uh, that guy's gaining much. That's a positive. We might be able to hold on to this six for a while. You've just done a twenty-four point nine. P six. It's pretty tight, the truck rather. Don't know how much the damage is doing it. How much it's just uh, how the truck's gonna be this late in the run. Suddenly, suddenly he caught me a little bit. I just looked down there, it was 1.6. He is catching now. A little bit more than he was a moment ago. I mean, I just gotta hope I get, I can get a top 10 now after getting damage. Full 4x gifted to us. That's nice. We have some takers for pit road. This is when we might start getting those, uh, getting the caution. Guys failing to get onto pit road. Plus, you got faster guys out on track, approaching slower guys. That could cause problems too. Appreciate the aid, I'm happy. All right, well, we got guys running into each other, giving uh, <laughs> incident points. 
This is starting to make me think I want to stay out even longer. No, you just didn't wreck me. No, you just did not do that. I didn't do anything. He turned down on me, so I'm out of drive. You're the one outside that hit the wall. <laughs> I run you down from a half a track, and you do nothing but block when I try to get around you. Blocking and, you, up. and you drove yourself into the wall, so figure it out. <laughs> Brother, you done messed with the wrong one, I'm telling you. Oh, okay, I'm thinking of stay out a little longer. It sounds like they're ready to wreck each other. Oh, God, is he going to, like, intent wreck him? I messed with the wrong one because you drove into me. All right. Brother, this conversation is over. You might as well not say another word. What, are you going to report me? You already said you're going to intentionally wreck me, so what are you going to do? That's funny. Uh, we got beef. Anybody want to play Warzone? <laughs> Who's talking up there in my beef? Got beef. Car the truck's actually starting to feel a little bit better. <laughs> Look at these times. I'm staying out here for a while, I think. Suddenly the truck's starting to feel pretty good. Again. I think we're going long. 1022, never mind. Yeah, look at this. We're getting like green now. Oh, the whole tent's yeah, faster right there. Oh, look at tight again there for a second. We got more distance behind us after that guy uh, apparently tangled with someone else. The gap behind is now 3.4 seconds. Hmm. Candy, you want to go by? Maybe lap 55 now is where I want. 56. We'll do 56 because 55 might be a number where a lot of people choose. A lot of more chances Thanks, for Joe. people to. Uh, Rick heading into the pits, so 56, we'll yep. say. So that way, if someone on lap 55 decides to wreck entering the pits, we're not affected by that. All right. Making this an extra long run, that's cool with me. I don't think any of the leaders have pit yet anyway. I mean, obviously we're not at 50 yet. Six car pit in the slab. Six car pit in the slab. There we go. There's some guys. The carry leaf. Coming up on halfway here. The car outside. Get back in pit. Clear outside. Hey, pit stops have started. For reals, it seems like, among the lead cars. Lots of guys heading in. Okay, and I'm coming in this time, by buddy. Time was 24.8. 10-4. Waiting for the potential yellow. Behind Watching behind me as well, just in case anybody's coming on fast tires, because they're going to rock it around. Yeah, that was a little close, wasn't it? Yeah, that, was, that wasn't good. Yeah, I thought you were going to go low with three and four. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Yeah, I kind of butchered that, man. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Are you good? No harm, no foul. There goes the truck going a little bit faster all of a sudden again. Maybe I'm just inconsistent. I don't know. It feels like I'm doing the same thing every time. I feel like I'm being consistent, but... Lap times are kind of fluctuating. Hey, Jim, if you want it back, let me know. It's the 16 on fresh tires. He is. Uh, I'm not sure. I just don't want to go another lap down. But I don't want you to go a lot down because of me. So. Is he here yet, though? Let's see. I'll give you bottom here. 
Car inside. Clear inside. Let's get that done easily as possible. P5. And we'll be coming in this lap. Well, next lap. That would have been a late decision right there. Hey, Sarah, when are you kidding? You're back in fourth position. The lead is Oh, there you go. Thank you. Now leading the captain, Connor, in front of now. Flying pit stops. Didn't think it would happen after some of the things we heard. But okay. here we are. A little bit slow, but I wanted to be careful. I wonder how the damage is going to look. Dan, just let me know when you're putting Three, two. One. Go right here. Oh, oh minute 30, and it's pretty bad. That sucks. We're done. Get going. There's a car approaching. Stay behind the white line. line. I'm going in this time. Cool, we got some space behind. That's good to see. That's some not great damage, but it could be worse. It seems like it's just hurting me most on the straightaways, and thankfully, straightaways aren't too long here. I guess probably not helping in the corners either, though, to be fair, but. Yep. That guy missed it. Oh, that's P2 as well. That's really going to hurt him. We could gain some serious spots here because of how hard it is to get on pit road. That's why I didn't worry about worry too much about getting a super fast stop. I knew that uh, just getting a solid, solid entry would still probably gain me some stuff, so. The lead is bidding now. So we were in, what, sixth, I think? Truck does feel tighter, unfortunately, after this damage, which is not gonna be good on the right front for this run. I didn't need any help being rough on the right front. I'm already good enough at <laughs> doing that on my own. So this is some lap traffic ahead. They're fighting for position though, so they might not be as willing to let me on by, even though I did uh, help the 16 earlier. Thank you, I just get by them pretty easy either way. All right, will he return the favor? <laughs> He'll hit the wall doing it, but yes. <laughs> Thank you to him. Car outside. Didn't have to go that high up the track now. Clear up top. So is anybody mad at anybody Top right five. Now? I like it. I think I was at six before, wasn't I? Something like that. I never remember for some reason where I entered the pits. We'll money. see. I think things still have to cycle out completely, but for as many questionable things we've seen this race, I mean, it's still pretty darn good. We're doing green flag pit stops after all. Thank you. Thank you. But if I continue this trend of having unlucky numbers <laughs> cause problems for me, I'm not going to have any lucky numbers left. We're gonna get up to like unlucky number eleven thousand four hundred fifty-one. They'll find a way. Not so big a fan of the leader being back there. He still hasn't pit. 
which is interesting. There's no way, I don't believe, there's any way he could make it all the way to the end on fuel. I did notice we weren't falling off that bad, so maybe that's why he's choosing to approach the way he is. Bottom line. Clear. Take the Colt. No problem, I got a nice little parachute on this thing. <laughs> No need. no need to uh, hold him up. It's clear he's pretty fast. He's got fresher tires and a fresher right front of the truck, so. Oh, that's looking scary. Lap traffic getting tight in a very scary spot while the guy's passing. I'm sure, he, uh, that made him a little nervous, but they survived it. Now I have to survive it. I hope I don't go a lap down. This guy is pitting, right? At some point. Doesn't look like he needs to for tires because he's still flying. Thank you, Sick. Appreciate that. Yeah, you got tires on me, I think. Definitely gonna keep an eye on, on the, uh, the leader down, back so there. Wait, the leader did pit. He's just super fast. By, so it. I'm, I just now looked. He lap, he pit on the same lap as me, so I'm just way back here is all. So that's fun. <laughs> just noticed. Thank you, Race Lab, for uh, making it clear just how not fast I am. Knowledge is power but also depressing. Well, of course, we're going to make it really easy for him once he gets here. Twenty truck I'm putting in this lot, by the way. Hmm. 0 0.2 gallons. 0 0.2 gallons? Well, you guys didn't fill this thing up enough? <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. One and two I'm putting in the lot. What's happening? Good, I guess. I think I was pitting and so the lap car, or the lap track had to kind of get up there. Why is he taking the bottom? What is this guy doing? Get out of the way. What is this? Just take the high line. What a dweeb. <laughs> Blocking the leader, too. Time was 3.42. I think I'm behind us now, 2.4 seconds. Hmm. Well, we're pretty close on pace to the leader. I mean, he's obviously a bit faster, but he's not flying up on us a thousand miles an hour at least. I'm gonna try staying ahead of him as long as possible. I think even if we get a uh, caution though, it looks like uh, we'd be the lucky dog for quite a while. We've got 5.8 seconds up to the next guy. So, we're not in a terrible spot if Caution comes out, even if he gets around me, I think. I hope I'm not, like, putting dirty air on his nose or something. And that's why he can't catch me or I don't know, I don't know how much dirty air is a big deal here or not, but I hope I'm not just slowing him down and annoying him. I'm not meaning to. I'm just waiting for him to actually get to me. It's 
it's not quite here yet. It is kind of surprising, considering the uh, damage I have, that he wouldn't be caught up to me. He's getting here, though. It's only a matter of time. Plus, I'm probably overdriving. Probably next set of corners I'll let him on by. I'll go high here. The car inside. Clear. Alright, smooth transition. Hope I didn't wait too long. Dog position. Oh god. I'm getting in the wall right in front of me. Watch out for the three car. P2. Coming up fast. Don't want to affect his race either. He's looking like he have, might have a chance at the win. Sixth place. I think that's where I was before pits. For some reason it's in my head I was in sixth place, but I don't actually remember. <laughs> Sounds about right. Your engine temperatures are okay. All clear for engine temperatures. Engine's fine. Probably could have added more tape to be honest. It would have been just fine. If I remember, I will add more tape for a final round if we get a caution. Just go ham on it. I'm going to be letting this three by here soon. I'll go high here. Car inside. Clear. Didn't lose much time at all there. It worked out pretty well. Up right behind him. Hey, maybe I can give him some uh, rear end draft <laughs> and bring him up to the leader. We'll see about that. Respect, Derek. 4.8 back to 7th place, so 6th place is looking pretty good for us right now. Still got a handful of laps to go though. Man, I wish I was as loose as the 3. <laughs> you got pretty loose out of the quarter there. Hey, OSR crew chief, can I get this set up a little looser next time? Thanks. <laughs> I tried to add the tape, help with that a little bit. Also, I have tools that I could have used, but honestly, with the first round, I felt those fine. I think it uh, just got a little bit too tight Wait, after I got the damage. I'll go high, Philip. Just trying to save as much as I can as we can. I don't feel too bad about this run. Even though we got damage, I feel like we've uh, handled it just fine. I feel like I might have been able to do better. Given uh, a number 13 yeah. truck didn't happen to us. Potentially, but maybe not. Maybe this is right about where we were going to be in. Hard to say. Finishing here, I would get negative 6 I rating. That's okay. Basically, no change. It feels tight, but it's not it's not unbearable. It's going just fine. 
I'll let this guy by. He's on fresh tires, I think. It's going down low. Inside. In to go. Inside bar. Touch clear inside. Go for fun, man. Even if you kind of like take a higher entry, you can you know, cut down and still get a pretty good run through the corner. I just, I really like the way this place races. I don't know. I know it's not always everyone's favorite. I've heard Go up. people uh, complain about it. You've just done a 24 point But I, I actually quite like it. I like a lot of tracks. As long as it's not a super speedway, I probably can see some value in most places. Yeah. I think that's probably true. I'm trying to think of another track I don't like I that's so. not a super speedway. And I don't know if there are many. I mean, I'm not good at short tracks, but I recognize their value even if they are terrifying to me and I'm terrible at them. <laughs> you know? Uh, they have a lot of character for sure, and uh, if I were just better and uh, more comfortable with short track racing, I'm sure I would enjoy it more, and I don't think that's the track itself's fault. That was a and even super speedways, I mean like Daytona, it's Daytona, it's got so much history and everything. So, obviously I don't hate that part of the track. I just don't like racing on it. <laughs> Let's see. What other tracks are there? What, what might I not like? A lot of people don't like Kentucky. I kind of I enjoyed it in the Arctic car when they went there. Legacy Kentucky. I think I've only done Legacy Kentucky. I don't know if I've ever actually been on the modern Kentucky. So that's kind of interesting. I guess the jury is still out on that one, but I enjoy my own halves, so I'm sure I would probably like modern Kentucky, too. Yes, sir. I mean, I like Texas. That tells you how much, how bad my opinions are, first of all. And, uh, I don't know. How little it takes for me to enjoy a track, I guess. So coming down to the end of this thing, kind of got a little bit snoozy because there's no one really around us right now. I had no chance to catch up uh, or keep up with any of the top guys with our damage and the time lost while getting the damage. But uh, no real competition from behind either. Just kind of letting the occasional lap truck by and navigating our way around another lap truck. But hey, this was pretty fun. Maybe one of the messier all green flag races I've ever done. But it's still a green flag race. And we uh, do one less lap. Because we are lap down. Alright, not so bad. I enjoyed my time out here at Dover. Go in. <clears throat> good race, good win. Sixth place. That'll do it. P6. Good win, man. We're gonna have plenty to see, though, despite it being a caution free race. There were lots of guys angry at each other for one reason or another. And uh, we get to see the. 13 crash into me and be all upset for some reason. He just doesn't get it. He is a frequent problem, and I guess it's always everybody else's fault. You'd think eventually you would recognize a common theme. Like, why is it always me getting wrecked? I wonder. Anyway, let's hop right into it. From 7th to 6th, I'll take it. Pretty much uh, all single digit numbers up here. Nothing too uh, out of the ordinary. 19 with great run, 7th place. First uh, number that kind of jumps out at you. 
we had a great start. I think a lot of guys maybe were starting second gear, maybe? Avoiding that uh, tire spin. But I think so long as you get on the gas easy, it should be just fine. That was kind of weird. That looked like major net code. He's from Brazil. Yeah, it looks like maybe some net code, some bad net code, just because they very different locations. Maybe that's what happened in our deal too. It doesn't change the fact that this guy does wreck a lot <laughs> and wreck other people a lot. Even though this is the first time I've had to deal with him, but. Uh, the net code also makes it worse, so. He's got some wall going on. Ooh, I got some wall. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, it's because that guy was talking to me. <laughs> I was looking to see uh, if it was him talking to me and just kept, took my eyes off the road for a second. Which you probably shouldn't do. Moving right along, trying to skip some of these wall hits. We're going to get a lot of them at Dover. That's always a thing. Side by side here, though. Nope. Nothing. 20s are getting the wall a lot. 7's doing some blinking. Any actual accidents? Ooh, this could be something. Mm-mm. Just some wall. And another piece. Ooh, that could have been dangerous. Guy right behind him. Thinking. Might as well just keep watching. This is what, uh... Well, he's going to do it. He just attempts to dive it in there on me, and I have to make room for him. He's just being all aggressive for no reason. Just comes up the track and wrecks me. I mean, that was just about as obvious as it felt in the car. I just... In what universe do you have to live in to think that was somehow my fault? What universe? <laughs> How could I possibly have given him any more room? There's track space here, but that's because we're not out of the corner yet. I'm fading out to be exactly along the wall. It's like he's... And then, what? Well, I, I don't know. I feel like that was a little bit dramatic, too. I feel like should have been able to hold on to that, but I don't know. Blows his motor. It's his own fault. But I'm uh, the idiot or whatever he said. <laughs> I don't even... I really don't even care at all. It's hard to even feel bad. Just because you know that's going to happen. He's going to do that to somebody this race and it just unfortunately had to be me. Well, that was bad. This wasn't a caution. Wow. So was that a lap truck? No. I think the uh, this guy... I think he just had to get off the gas hard because he was heading right for the wall and the 8 caught him real quick. He's off the gas hard and then they just... You can't really turn down there as the 8. It's just that's an unfortunate thing that can happen at Dover. I know the 17 had his issues with somebody. I'm sure we'll see that in a little bit. Alright, got to scoot past some wall hits again first, though. When he's doing it a fair number of times more. This is looking kind of dangerous. I'm fine. I think. He's like on 24 to 1 steering ratio or something. It looks like he has like weird slow reactions. He drives into the wall. Straight. Alright, keeping it moving. Let's go. Hmm, is this the issue they were having? Okay, yeah. This might have been the first... The initial fire. 
in the shootout. So I guess the 17 had to lift off. Maybe it was going to hit the wall. Yeah. I mean... 14's right behind him. I'm sure he didn't want to do that. I mean, that's just a racing thing. It's... If you don't want that to happen, don't get tight on exit. But also, like... It happens. I'm sure the 14 tried to lift. I doubt he wants nose damage. I don't see any reason to get upset over that. It stinks, but... Not really worth getting angry over. Nineteen in the wall. Did uh did those guys wreck each other yet? I remember the one guy said like, "Oh, you, you wrecked me." Oh, it sounds like, or it looks like they're uh, fighting hard. Is this the intentional wreck? Okay, I guess we have to watch this a little bit more. The 14. I don't know, man. Like, the 14 caught him by a mile, and he was saying that whenever they got together. It can be kind of tough to pass here, but, like, you're not- you're also not attempting to set it up. Like, don't be afraid to enter high and then cut down and then get a run on exit. Like, I think that's what he has to do here. But he's following right behind him, and then, of course, the uh, 17 gets the apron. And it's just like before, where he's right behind him and can't react in time. And I think the 14 interpreted that as a block. I think he said something about that. I don't know. Okay, 17 wrecks him on purpose, though. Like, that's just stupid. Yeah, I would be mad. So that's uh, two races in a row I've seen an intentional wreck. The uh, children are out to play today, I guess. So uncalled for. Like even the four, if the fourteen was being a little aggressive and not like setting up a pass, like you don't need to do that, like for real. <laughs> it's just so unnecessary. Certainly isn't doing anything for his speed, either. Taking all that time to wreck a dude. That's just... It's all around stupid. But I guess that ends that saga, because the other guy blew his engine. So we could just uh, watch the 17 go around and have no friends, I guess. Um, gonna go a little quicker. Lots of wall hits. Everyone loves getting the wall here. This is weird. Not sure what that exchange was. Uh oh, we have a pit stop blunder. Logo on the back kind of looks like the K5 Championship logo. Anyway, getting all the brakes too hard. Brakes too far to the rear. Sends it around. Let me guess, he was probably above 35 a decent bit. He's going 56 and he's got to get, he's got to shave off 20 miles an hour before he gets right here. So I'm guessing he has to get on the brakes hard and yep. There's your reason. There's the cause. We solved that my mystery. We also solved the mystery apparently. My mouth is getting dry. I need to get a glass of water after this one. Moving along, moving along. Could get some situations with faster trucks approaching slower trucks here during the pit cycle. Got the leader a couple times worth seeing. I don't know if we're going to get much else because, uh, ooh, there's a heavy wall hit. That was some speeding. 
He decided to pit pretty late, too, if he hadn't already pit. There's the one approaching me that I let him buy here. Yeah, I probably could have let him buy that corner. One corner too late, I think. He just he gained a lot more on me on entry than I expected there, so. Sorry to him for holding him up maybe a little. Not the intention. He still won, right? I don't think it mattered. Yeah, he still won. Moving right along, getting to the end of this thing pretty soon. We've got wall hits aplenty. You got wall, you're, you want wall hits? We got wall hits. One wall hit, two wall hit, four for the price of six wall hits. Oops, I hit a different button. <laughs> that was going to be it anyway, I think. We were on lap like 91, I think it said. We're not going to get anything else, I don't think. Going quick, and uh, I will go ahead and say my outro right now, if you want to call it that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. That's going to do it for this race and for this incident report, because we're not going to get anything else but wall hits. So There we go. I appreciate you. I hope you have a good one. Got ourselves a P6 here today, and I hope you enjoyed watching me be the first car, first truck a lap down. Is what it is. We found ourselves a number 13 here today, and uh, that's alright. We'll get him next time. See you then.